Alright guys, so I don't know how interesting this is going to be. It's Weather is nasty outside. Um, good old Houston weather, gotta love it. Can't seem to stay warm. Um, raining constantly, so can't really get out and do a bunch of filming. So, what I decided to do last night is I'm going to build myself a little gaming PC as far as like for emulation. So it's not going to be like the newer games and stuff. It's going to be a lot of the retro games that you can do. So, um, <clears throat> I have it apart right now, my PC, the little one I have. So, <coughs> to look at it there, <clears throat> it is a Dell Optiplex 3010. So, what I did, and <clears throat> so you can see, is I'm going to take finished mounting this hard drive I used a 500 gig um, SSD Samsung drive I'm gonna go ahead and mount this in here all right so I got that in there now so basically this is gonna be able to play I don't know how fast um, I don't have a graphics card I'm using the internal graphics um, eventually I'm kind of putting in a graphics card but this is an i5 um, Dell Optiplex 3010. Um, you can pick a lot of these Dell Optiplexes up um, at pawn shops or at um, thrift stores, Craigslist, eBay. Pretty cheap, under a hundred bucks, definitely. I'd say probably closer to thirty bucks. Now the i5 model maybe a little bit uh, more. You can get the Core 2 Duos, which will run good. I want to say the guy that I was watching building it said the emulators. Um, you can do Super Nintendo, um, Nintendo 64, anything pretty much newer than the 64, though, like the PlayStation, PlayStation 2s. Um, it's going to run a little bit slower, especially without a dedicated graphics card. So, but eventually I will get a new graphics card to put in there. Um, not going to be something super, I just need something that will emulate. With this PC, though, I should be able to do PlayStation 2 for sure. Um, if you get a good enough graphics card, maybe a bigger power supply, this is going to be the toughest part is because this is a modular power supply. It's going to be hard to fit a full size from this PC. So what I may um, do, do some checking to see because when I get my graphics card, I'm definitely going to need a bigger power supply. Um, probably at least a 500 watt, uh, 600. The bigger the better actually i mean it's not going to hurt to have a bigger power supply in it so once i get that um, done once i get ready to do all that um, i'll show i'll show you guys putting in a bigger power supply and then putting in the graphics card i had this one just laying around like i said i do pc builds on the side it's just a spare computer i've had for a couple years um so um but next one I'll show you is where I got the software for it. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when it boots up here. Let me um, plug in everything here. Get everything plugged in. Let me get my joystick so I can configure it as well. Now you can you can buy a Bluetooth um, adapter. And use an Xbox controller if you like Xbox or PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. I have a USB <coughs> generic PlayStation 4 controller that I'm going to use on this, and it just plugs in the USB slot. But you can get um, a Bluetooth adapter to put in there, and you can boot your PlayStation up to it. So, for right now, all I've got on there is a keyboard and a mouse. I'm going to configure my joystick. So, this is what it looked like when it boots. Forgive the mess. I'm in the middle of doing a bunch of stuff. So this is the program I downloaded. It's a Linux-based program. Boots up pretty quick. So I need to take and configure. Got to figure out the menus on this. So holiday button to the figure. All right. So up, down, left, right. Up, down. Oh shoot! 
let's go back up. So we got up, left, up, left. We'll do A, B, X, Y. Select, start. Um, L2, R2, L3, R3, hotkey. Okay. So now. We should be able to play Doom. Let's see how this works here, guys. Sorry about the delay. I'll probably just edit that part out. I need something to make my video a little bit longer anyway, so. Play something easy. So it looks pretty good. Um, it's not slowing down. Again, I don't have a lot of my creatures on here either. But, um, so, so far so good. Now here in a minute I'll show you guys where I got it from. I'll be right back. What program I used and how to create um, your own, basically, uh, hard drive or boot disk, whatever you want to use for the build. But first, I want to show you what I got. It's new. It is a blue microphone. Uh, it's called uh, Snowball Ice. Um, I'm hoping to be able to use this whenever I do some of my, when I start doing some live streams. So um, we'll see. I used it on uh, my last video, on the giveaway video, when I was, um, when I voiced over the bass scene, when I was catching the bass there. So let me know if it worked pretty good, guys. Um, like I said, I, I tried it out. I was using just a normal headset microphone and I'd have to crank the volume really, really far up when I was editing it in order for you to hear it. So hopefully this one sounded a lot better. You can understand me more. Um, so with that being said, the program you're gonna look for is called Batacera. Batocera, Batacera, I'm not sure. So, you type in Batocera. It's going to be the first one that pops up Batocera Linux. And so, this is a web page. So, basically, it's an operating system for retro gaming. Um, kind of like using um, the ones they use for like Raspberry and Odroids. So, depending on your what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the bottom. So, this is going to give you what's supported and which programs to use. Um, and this right here tells you what all that they have and what all supported. So, I have the x86 64-bit PC. Um, this one is the 32-bit version. So, as you can see, it supports all those different programs and these are all just all emulators that they have that you're able to play and Cody as well so again you can do internal Bluetooth um, so what you want to do is you want to come down now it says it'll support PS4 but I know mine won't so what you want to do is you want to download whichever one you have so if you're using a 64-bit computer you just download it um, if you're doing a 32-bit Raspberry Pi 0 Raspberry Pi 2 Pi 3 any of the other ones that you're building like I said I did mine on a, just a normal computer 64-bit so I downloaded that and then the other program that you're going to want to use that you're going to need to download is called Etcher so we'll go over here and type in 
etcher. And you want to do the Bellina etcher. And basically what this does, this allows you to flash an image onto a drive so it's bootable. So again, it gives you different support if you're doing 64-bit, 32-bit, or if you're doing a portable. I did the portable. Um, so you would download that. So once, with that being said, what you need to do is you need to have some kind of flashable media. Whether it's a USB thumb drive or a, um, I'm using a uh, external SATA for the SSD drives because I'm gonna put on because I want to put on SSD and put it straight to the computer, so I can just boot it off of that. Now you don't have to have it that way. You can have it to where you put it on a on a, um, a thumb drive with a flash card. Um, I would recommend no no less than 32 gigs. Um, on an SD card if you're going to do it. So, <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this here, the Etcher program. Once you get it all downloaded, um, put it on your desktop. I found it was easier doing it that way. Um, so what you're going to do is it's going to tell you to select an image. So you're going to click on it. You're going to select your image. You're going to select your drive. And you're going to hit continue. And see, it tells me it's a large drive, but that's fine. That's what I want it on. And you're going to continue. Click yes. And it's going to start. And what it's going to do is it's going to put that image onto that drive so it'll boot. And it's, not, it's only, you know, about two gigs, but you still want um you're gonna have to have enough you're gonna have to have enough space to store any of your ROMs or anything else you put on there so um so it's doing that while it's doing that you know that's just the basic on how you do it then you just install it in your pc um if it's the only hard drive you have in there then you want to go in and make sure it does boot from that um if you had multiple hard drives then you need to select which one you want to boot by going into your bios menu and all manufacturers have different ways of getting into your BIOS. So you, you can Google that on your particular PC to tell you how to get to the BIOS menu to select your boot drive. Um, this video is running a little bit long. Um, again, I want to thank everyone who subscribed. Um, you know, as of right now, my channel is sitting at 189 subscribers. Um, getting close to 200. Um, like I said, we're going to giveaway at 250. Uh, then 500, and then like I said, a thousand is going to be something pretty good. So, and the other one should be pretty good. Um, um, again, if you guys would just tell your friends, like, subscribe. If you like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. Uh, if there's something else you want to see me do, uh, computer wise or anything, just let me know. Give me some suggestions, some hints. And um, I appreciate everybody. Um, and you guys have a good night. Love you, God bless, and we'll see you at the next video. Thank you.